Ramadan is the ninth month of the Muslim calendar. Historically, it's the month during which Allah started telling the Prophet Muhammad the divine verses that would eventually be written down as the Quran, the central text of Islam. To observe Ramadan, all adult Muslims are required to fast every day from sunrise to sunset. So it's like Lent, except instead of giving up one thing, like chocolate, you give up everything for an entire month, at least during the daylight. At night, you stuff face. Dearborn, Michigan is home to one of the largest populations of Arab Americans in the country. The family I hung out with during Ramadan were Lebanese American, and their slang is accordingly Lebanese, Michigan, Arabic slang. Time for prayer, Thomas. We're just going to do a rinse. Oh, OK. Just so, for purity reasons, you keep, you know, water is the ultimate purifier. Right, yeah. So the first word is uh, Wadu. Wadu is a uh, kind of a ritual cleansing you do before you pray as a Muslim. But it's also a cleansing you do if you uh, go into a mosque, do anything kind of like holy or um, Allah oriented. It's a, a way of cleaning yourself, especially if you have uh, broken wind, urinated, or had sex any time since your last prayer. There's certain things that would require you to redo it. Those being urinating, okay. using number two. Got it. Breaking wind. Really? Yes. Yeah. So right. you break wind, you have to redo it. You always use your right hand to touch the water. And that doesn't come from the Quran per se, but Arabic culture in which um, people customarily wipe their ass with the left hand or used to. And so the left hand is considered unclean and uh, not the kind of thing you stick into water sources or, you know, people's bowls of potato salad. And then I'd grab the water, pour it into the left hand, and you want to wash the right arm and then switch over to the left side. Sara, which I'm horribly butchering. That's like kind of a, like a hangout, like a late night gathering. Like not quite a party, but you know, not quite dinner either. You'd hear a lot of people say, where's the Sahara tonight? Sahara is kind of like the nightly gathering. Okay. Where's everyone hanging out at tonight? During Ramadan, after everybody's broken their fast at sundown, you know, that's a pressing issue is where you guys are all gonna hang out for the rest of the night and eat snacks. So where's the Sahara, as Hussein would say. It's usually at Hussein's house, because he's got cool parents. Two minutes left, like right now, that's like an Im Imsek. Imsek, the Imsek. Imsek's about to start. Imsek's at, yeah, 3.50. Now, Imsek's the moment when, during Ramadan, you start fasting. It's, you know, roughly related to dawn, because you're supposed to fast as long as the sun's out. So we've got one minute, basically, to yeah. pound water and have yeah. less Back smoke. <laughs> It's the moment when a white thread held at arm's length from the body can be distinguished from a similarly held black thread. Um, so presumably at uh, some point in Islamic history, there was a guy in Mecca or elsewhere whose job it was to hold up two pieces of thread, black and white, and wait until he could tell which one was which. And when he could, that's when you start fasting. Imsek. The next word is Inshallah. Uh, inshallah kind of literally means if God wills it or if Allah wills it, but it's sort of used um, almost as a speech disfluence, ya Allah, like, like or um, you hear it, you know, every third word in a lot of sentences. <laughs> this is obviously just a taste of uh, all the uh, Arabic words used by both Lebanese Americans and Lebanese Lebanese people and Muslim people around the world. There's an entire language of it, in fact, called Arabic. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. Inshallah. <laughs> Muhammad